Hi friends, this is Devansh and in this video, I am going to tell you how you can fix the Windows update 0x8024-0023 for Windows 10. So please watch this video completely and let's begin. So the first method is try to troubleshoot the Windows update. For that, go to the settings, open the settings and in settings, you have to go to update and security. Here, you have to go to the troubleshoot and in troubleshoot, you will get multiple options. Search for the Windows update and click on Run the Troubleshooter. Once you click the Run the Troubleshooter, it will start detecting the problems related to the Windows update and this will take some time. So wait till it is detecting the issue related to the Windows update. So once the Windows detection will complete, you will receive message like that Windows pending system that require reboot has been detected. So I received one error. For that, I have to perform the operation so that it will fix that error now it is detected start detecting the additional prop problems related to the windows update and for me only one issue is there check for the pending restart likewise you might get different kinds of error which is causing this windows update problem so just resolve that error and then again try to do the windows update and check it fixed the error not so this is the first method once you've done it try to restart your system again Now the next method is we will change the name of the redistribution folder with the help of the command prompt. So first run the command prompt as administrator. Once the command prompt get open, you have to copy the command from the descriptions. So first copy the net stop wasu serv command, paste it and execute it. Once you execute it, you will get this message update service or you might get message that is starting. You might get different messages. Similarly, one by one, you have to copy the command and paste in the command prompt. Copy the net stop cryptographic services. So it will stop the cryptographic services. Now, copy the command net stop BITS. So it will stop the background intelligence services. Now, the last one is net stop MSI CRVR. So it will copy it and paste it in the command prompt and execute it. And once you execute it, you will receive this message window installer services is not started so after that what you have to do you have to change the name of the re software redistribution software distribution and get root to folder name and here is the location of the these two folder so i'm going to show you where this folder basically lies so go to the c drive now go to the windows and in windows you will find the software distribution folder so once you execute this command let me first show you the folder so this is the folder software distribution after that what what has happened when you execute this command this folder get rename is software distribution dot old similarly when you go to the system 32 folder here you will get the cat root 2 folder by executing this command it will change to cat root 2 dot old so what will happen these two folder get renamed and when again you try to update the services uh, window update it will start working and store the information in the new folders so after that once you've done that part you have to just again start the services which you stop like net is with the help of these four commands one by one firstly we stop it now we are starting this services so if we started the window updated services now we are starting the cryptographic services after that we will start the background intelligence services transfer services Okay, wait, it's starting the second one. Now third one is net start background intelligence transfer services and last one is net start MSI server. So it will start the window installer services. Once you start all the services, you have to exit from the command prompt and go and restart your system and again try to do the window update and check you are getting the error or not. Now the last method is perform the system file check. For that you have to open the command prompt as administrator and copy the command sfc slash scan now and paste it in the command prompt. Once you paste in the command prompt and execute it, what will happen? It will start the system scan and this process will take some time because it will doing the complete system scan. In the downside, you can see the verification percentage that how much verification is completed. So wait till it get 100%. So I am here moving it to the final phase. This is how the final screen, screen will appear that verification 100% completed. If you find any integrity evolution, you will get it downside. If in my case, I didn't get any integrity evolution. If you get it, try to resolve that. And after that, try to do the windows update and check you are getting that error or not. And after that exit and try to restart the system again and then do the windows update so these are all the methods which can help you to fix the error if any of this method help you please like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching